to do a 25K portfolio update. This also gives us the opportunity to take a look at a multi-strategy automation in crude oil. And I get a lot of questions about that. So I also have some new research coming out that I want to share with you here in the next week. But um, right now, we're going to take a look at the recent trades. In crude oil last night, the after hours had a sell signal, and then the market closed at the red bar, and then another little small gap down and um, hit its profit target. So it's a nice trade in the after hours strategy, hitting a $700 profit target. You see 675 because we're taking out 25 for slippage and commission. And this is the research platform that I have. And this is the weekly inventories. Taking a long trade today. It also hit its profit target, $700 profit target. So I like strategies like this. When you have a $700 profit target and a $300 stop loss, and so it hits profit target near the highs, we'll see if it what it does the rest of the day because we're currently short in the 20 in the portfolios based on crude oil reversal is one of our top strategies as well. So lots of crude oil trades today. You see the market gap down and it rallied up and it filled that gap and then we reversed on that gap. And so I want to discuss the implications of multi-strategy automation. Crude oil after hours hit its profit target, so it was flat when we came into the day session today. But weekly inventories report came out at 10.30 Eastern Time. And so there was a trade opportunity at 51.96, so going long at 51.96. And then it hit its profit target at 11.06 at 52.66. But crude oil reversal got short in the middle of that trade. In the middle of the weekly inventories trade, the, the, the gap was filled, and so it took a reversal trade at 52.28. And so the sequence of trades would have looked like this in your account. You would have taken a long trade at 51.96. You would have sold that contract at 52.28. Let's see, that happened at 10.41 a.m. Eastern Time, so 11 minutes after the inventories report. You got long at 51.96. And then at 10.47, six minutes later, you, you sold that at 52.28, which means you were getting short on this. So you're flat now because one strategy was long and one strategy was short. And so when Crudo Weekly Inventories hit its profit target, it, went, it sold one at 52.66 at 11.06, which is about 20 minutes after the gap fill and reverse crude oil. So then you're short again. You're short again based on the sell signal in crude oil weekly inventories hitting its profit target, which means you're now synchronized with gap fill and reverse crude oil. And so it looks like you have a gap fill and reverse crude oil trade short at 52.66 up here, much higher than this price. But if you sum up the trades, they still add up. And so if this strategy is up 675 and this one gets stopped out minus 525, then it's plus 150 still even though the sequence of trades is different and so I get a lot of questions about how to manage strategies how to set up trading systems for multi-system automation of the same symbol and one of the settings you need to make sure that you do is you go into each of these charts and you go format strategies and you click on that no you don't click on that you go properties for all and then the automation tab you click this third check mark allow multiple automated strategies on mul multiple charts using the same futures forex symbol in the same account. So that is important to do and that is how you can set up the automation. It's how you should take a look at the automation when you do it for multi strategies for the same symbol. Additionally, when we'll take a look at the other trades today and the portfolios, the tick pulse is long and it's around break even and the uh, no trades today in the basic five strategies. SR Countertrend Gold had a nice long trade yesterday. And Soybeans had a loss yesterday. They kind of uh, canceled each other out, plus 375, minus 375. And then in the third workspace, which includes the additional two strategies for crude oil for the 50K portfolio, they are flat today. And these other five strategies for the 100K portfolio, uh, you see Soybean Mill Swing is short. And it's down 280 currently. And that is the update on the portfolios. That is how you should set up multi-strategy automation of the same symbol.